The member from Windsor West. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Seven months ago, the Premier went to Walkerton, where seven people died 14 years ago due to drinking water contamination. She said there was a failure of oversight, a failure of enforcement. Cuts have consequences. In 2006, the government promised to protect our drinking water from con contamination at this source. This was a key recommendation of the Walker Walkerton Commission. And yet, when the Auditor General checked in eight years later, the government had approved plans to protect the drinking water of only 5% of Ontarians. How hypocritical is it for the Premier to stand in Walkerton and say. The member will withdraw. I'll withdraw. How shameful is it for the Premier to stand in Walkerton and say cuts and poor oversight caused this tragedy when our own government is planning deep spending Question. cuts and has still not implemented key recommendations from the Walkerton Commission? Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, well, and I appreciate the, uh, the question from the, uh, the member opposite. Um, Ontario is one of the only jurisdictions in North America with source water protection plans, Mr. Speaker. And these plans are one element, they're just one element in a robust water protection system that was put in place, Mr. Speaker, that ensures Ontario's uh, drinking water is among the best protected in North America. Um, so let me be clear. Despite what the uh, Auditor General alludes to in her report, another Walkerton will not happen in Ontario, Mr. Speaker. Follow the, following the Walkerton inquiry, uh, Justice O'Connor made 121 recommendations on areas related to protected drinking water. Uh, Ontario is acting on all 121 recommendations, every single one of them, Mr. Speaker, including the source water protection Answer. plans. By the end of this year, half of the water protection plans will be implemented, and the end of next year, all 20 22 plans will be implemented. Supplementary. Speaker, the government has still not approved the plan to protect the drinking water of the Credit Valley, Toronto Region, and Central Lake Ontario area, representing more than half of the people in Ontario. This plan includes provisions to protect against pipeline spills. Because the government refuses to approve it, Enbridge has refused to follow the plan's safety rules for its Line 9 pipeline. Mm. The Auditor General wondered why this government's water safety plans did not protect against industrial spills. Perhaps it's for the same reason the government refuses to approve a water safety plan that would regulate pipelines. Deputy House Leader is why won't the government put public safety ahead of private interests and approve this plan to protect the drinking water of more than half of Ontario? The, the, the plans are in the process. As I said, by the end of the year, half of the uh, water protection plans will be implemented, and the end of next year, all 22 of the plans will be implemented. So they are in process, Mr. Speaker. That work is underway, and they, they have to be finalized in order for them to, uh, to be approved. And it's measures like these that are making us a leader in source water protection. And uh, quite frankly, Mr. Speaker, all over the world, there are jurisdictions that are looking to us for our clean water technology. When I traveled to China, there were businesses that were coming with us who have developed clean water technology because of the regulation, because of the system that we've put in place in Ontario. So, Mr. Speaker, we are leading the pack on this. Not all the plans are approved yet. That is absolutely true. And in terms of the, uh, in terms of the pipeline, yes, Mr. Speaker, the member opposite will know that just uh, a couple of weeks ago, we signed an agreement with Quebec that we are putting some principles in place to make sure that environmental protections are put in place around the pipeline, Mr. Speaker.